both first half and the second half. Missed some easy shots early, but uh, got into a rhythm after that. And I thought our defense was pretty consistent most of the night. They they found some matchup issues and they went to it. But other than that, I thought uh, I thought we were pretty consistent on both ends as far as offense and defense and total team effort. Had some guys come off the bench, played really well for us. And, uh, good win. Was one of the big takeaways the ability to finish in this one final. Well, we didn't finish in the early. We didn't finish. We won it. We got the ball where we wanted to, but we did start. But I mean, you know, finishing the game out though, and when when they made their pushes. Yeah, you know, one of the things I told our team that I was really proud of our team. We got up ten or eleven. I don't know, two to three times, and they cut it back all the way to one uh, every time until we got it to about the three or four minute mark, whatever it was, and we went back up nine or ten, and then we were able to sustain it and, and down the stretch. But uh, that's not easy to do, especially a team that's, we haven't been, you know, uh, clicking on all cylinders necessarily. Uh, it was good to see they had that fight in them and to be able to uh, kind of sustain the runs that they made at us. But, they, they, you know, it's hard to beat Davidson when they make eight, nine threes, whatever they did. That's, uh, so I was proud of our team. That's, you know, when they shoot the ball like that, they're really, really difficult to beat. Was there any particular area of the defense tonight that you liked any more than another? You said Jeremy. I thought, I thought we had some toughness about us. Even though they started going to a mission, I thought still we made them earn it. Uh, we wanted to, you know, when when they started second half making some threes and we called timeout and put a stop to it to, to an extent. Um, but uh, you know, a lot of their uh, a lot of theirs came in late late in the shot clock, and that's you know that's an area we need to continue to get a little bit better at. Uh, but I just thought our toughness on defense, they're obviously not an easy team to guard. I mean, they, how they run their offense, nobody really else, nobody else does what they do. Just chasing guys around, and then you got fours and fives out there shooting threes, and um, you know, they play two two bigs that are both 6'9", six, 6'10", six, both of them. Uh, they got a, uh, it, 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 what Uri did defensively tonight was, was because that's a hard guard, you know, guard false warrior like that, how he runs and use screen is not an easy deal. It's not easy. And I thought Yuri did a great, because Yuri was on it about 95% of the time. He did a great job. That's a, they're not quite as good a three-point shooting team as they have been, no. but yet almost every one of their guys, when they were out on the perimeter, you're yelling shooter. I mean, it's like everyone's a shooter on them. That team well, after it got to a point, well, you had one guy out there who made two or three all year long and made three. I mean, so we're like, I'm yelling <laughs> right now. I respect, I respect that. I, I thought, hey, respect that. He stepped up, made him. Got a lot of respect for that. And yeah, uh, it, at some point, you know, even Watson was making threes. And, you know, so at some point, I told him, all right, guys, you know, got to move on to play a B here. Uh, and uh, we got to stop the threes at this point. <laughs> Coach, I felt like you were able to create a lot more turnovers tonight, steals, and even when you weren't getting the ball to change hands, you were creating deflections, tips, getting the ball out of bounds. Is that a virtue of changing your approach going into this game, or just the toughness you were referring to a moment ago? Uh, we talked about it the last couple of days. You know, uh, we need to try to be a little more aggressive in certain areas when we can, uh, in our own way. Um, try to be aggressive and, 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 you know, we're not going to be a team that's out there denying wings and, and things like that. But uh, through a scouting report, through things that we know when certain plays are going to be ran and things like that, if we'll anticipate, and I thought tonight we were actually our mind, we were, we were in tune and we've read some passing lanes, we've read some plays and created some steals. Jerry did it a couple times and Sierra did it once, I think. Uh, Japan had one or two, and he knocked it out of bounds. So we, we talked about that the last couple of days. Where and how can we be a little more aggressive to try to get our defense to create some offense? And uh, we, we're better at it. Is the opposite of that coin staying within control? Oh, yeah. yeah. We, you know, we've we got to be aggressively solid, as we say, you know, because we're not, again, we're, we're not, we're not going to get out and just beat people with speed and athleticism and things like that necessarily. But we can still find our ways to be aggressive. Um, and uh, we've talked more about it in the last couple of days than we have. Uh, but, uh, and I, I thought guys did a good job of shooting some gaps and creating some. Uh, Uri had a big, big steal in for a layup that we needed it. Uh, so, yeah, it was good. It was, it was your, your spot on. 
Hey, Coach, what's the uh, status of uh, Javante Perkins? Didn't see a lot of him in the second half. Yeah, he just, you know, Sincere got in there, was playing well. And, um, kind of just kind of went with him a little bit and, uh, you know, uh, more or less rewarding Sincere for playing well and making some shots and he was defending well and that was more kind of reward for him. How good it was to see Pickett 